How about that? Wow. Let's get to the other one. And now the first look at the 78 car with Ricardo and Augustine Canapino, the rookie from Argentina. And how sharp does that look? Very nice, huh, everybody? Can't wait to see what this car looks like, both of them, on the racetrack in the NTT IndyCar Series. Before we go any further, look at the drivers of 2023. Unko's Hollinger are racing in the NTT IndyCar Series and Indy Next by Firestone. So a lot to talk about here. Again, coming to you from the Uncos Hollinger Racing Shop in Indianapolis. Uh, the challenges ahead for 2023, the rebrand as well. We're going to get an opportunity to talk to the drivers as well here for, about their goals for 2023. Uh, Brad, we'll start with you, though. Rebrand. Well, how about it? How, how cool is this? Well, I think it's really cool. Yeah. You know, we, we set the bar high, and I think we've achieved it for this year in that we went from one team to two teams, which is outstanding. <laughs> And I think the tagline, the power of possibility, sets it all. That, you know, we started very modestly, but we're slowly but surely growing. And we wanted to rebrand, have something that's really kind of bad looking, but also bad in a good way yeah. and cutting edge. And I really think that the livery delivers on that. You know, Ricardo, for you, there are so many challenges in an off season anyway. Uh, to add a rebrand to this, a fresh new logo, new graphics, a much different feel for this team. What, what are the challenges for something like that? Oh, yes, I, of course, it was a, a lot of challenge, and we always put ourselves in this situation where we're doing too much and too short time, <laughs> but here we are. We said uh, beginning of 22 that we're going to go with two cars on 23, and I think that what uh, we're delivering now. So now we are keep just doing what we said that we're going to do. The new branding of everything now, and we're going to go with a new website, new e-commerce site, and all that on top of everything else is being challenged for, for not just for us, but for the whole team. So I'm very happy, obviously, to be doing this event today yeah. and, and doing what we do, because as Brad said, the power of possibility. So there is, we make things possible, right? We make things happen. I mean, the, the, the story itself behind the team and what happened in the history of the team, this is just a continuation of, of what we've been doing for a long time, yeah. and now it's, it's just been amazing to be here. It's a team that started from very humble beginnings, and now look at it. Uh, there's so many things for you to, to be proud of, I think. It is, it is. Um, like, we know each other for a long time, and yeah. we talk about it many times, and it's been 20 years now for me in this country, and, and just to, to see this continuation, to, to work every day with, doesn't matter how much challenge we need to face, yeah. but we have a fantastic group of people to make it happen, and when you have that, then you can you can fly very high and, yeah. and i think that's what what we're doing and that's what i'm very very proud all right i want to get a veteran's thought on this callum what do you think of the new look i think it looks great uh really fast uh great looking um they did a great job designing it uh hopefully after this day ricardo can de-stress a little bit because this <laughs> makes him very stressed um and we can focus on moving ahead but no it's a great job as brad said going from one car to two cars it's a big step for the team and again lots of work um obviously you've got to get the oval cars ready as well but to rock up with these cars in thermal i think it looks amazing um obviously slight differences on the front with a bit more green on mine um hopefully we can tell the difference well it's not our problems but the team can tell the difference and uh yeah for the pit stops can be good uh yeah when you go out to uh, the pit road you just gotta remember which car you're getting into right what, what it's gonna look like so. yeah yeah i mean I, I was used to only there being one car so yeah. now i've got to I'm, I'm sorry mate I, I know your seat's a bit bigger but no it should be good honestly i think it looks great i'm really happy to be driving these cars let's talk about the colors a little bit different shapes designs uh the fluorescent green really pops on these cars i think it is a totally different design from our history, so we always yeah. keep the green. But this is the, I think everybody agrees, this is the best green that we ever dream about it. And it's, it's happening now at the right time, I think. So the guys are doing, a, they did a really, really good job. Actually, I would like to, to thank Jonathan and, 
and Mark and Tom and Martin guys as well because they, they yeah. did a really really good job to to understand the philosophy that I have with Brad and how we see the team and the philosophy that we have and they somehow they understand that and they put it in the whole new branding of the team yeah. so it's been really good obviously a rich uh, Argentinian uh, history with this team and that's a nice segue into you, uh, Augustine Canapino, a rookie from Argentina, ready to go here this year. Uh, just your thoughts. Of course, uh, anyone that's followed the team knows about the test you had in Argentina and how exciting that was. And now to have an opportunity to uh, drive in the NTT IndyCar Series to compete, how exciting for you? Yes. Uh, thanks to Brad, Ricardo, sponsors, the whole team for me, giving me this opportunity. I'm very excited about that. It's a big challenge for me because I did my all career in uh, touring cars yeah. and now I will be my first season in open wheel cars so it's all new for me I'm trying a lot I, I'm doing my best to do my best this season um, share the team with Callum is a big opportunity for me because he's one of the best drivers of in IndyCar and I try to learn to him to, to help to the, to the team to, to have a good results and, and have a, a continuous their, their progress, their mm -hmm. development. Uh, and you just moved to America, what, a couple weeks ago? Or so. Yes, how, how, how's only the transition? one week ago. What's that? Oh, one week ago. Only one week. Welcome to America. The uh, big how, difference your... is the weather, oh my God. The weather. <laughs> yes. In a different. good way or bad way? No, it's different. It's different, different. okay. <laughs> uh, uh, for Callum, uh, looking ahead to the season ahead, uh, goals and thoughts, and uh, obviously there's a, the learning curve that maybe you had last year as a rookie, that's now gone. You can concentrate on some other stuff now, right? Yeah, uh, obviously the end of the season was really strong for us yep. on the pace side. Um, there's a few little things that we needed to improve off of that uh, to get the end results, but I think being able to restart and a very similar calendar to last year that we can restart and see the difference that we made throughout that season um, and head into St. Pete, hopefully as strong as we finished. Um, then obviously going to two cars, the data, uh, obviously it's a bit of a learning curve, but hopefully, you know, we can get up to speed as quick as possible on that side. Um, and with that, that just speeds up the process so yeah. much more. So that's exciting for us. Obviously, it's a long winter, a big change for the team. You know, you're doubling on the, the resources that you're going through and the people that you need. Um, and that's always a challenge, especially in today's world. Um, but it's it's exciting. It's, it's really, yeah. really interesting for me as well to see my development. And again, as a team, we started from a small, well, completely different team in a way with one car and it's just going to take off. By the way, Augustine, it doesn't always snow in Indianapolis. So I, I know that's what you're talking about when it comes to weather. But for you, Callum, to have a teammate, now you touched on it a little bit, but to have a teammate going into another season, how important is that for you? It's massively yeah. important. It makes it makes such a difference. Um, I, I only had myself to compare to last year, and that's, that's your limit in a certain yeah. way. So I think I did a decent job of it, but it was more like, okay, this is what I imagine I can do for, for qualifying, for example. And that was the stretch of it. So hopefully, you know, being able to compare, uh, bounce ideas off of and get through all the testing that the engineers want to, it, it makes a, it makes a big difference. Um, and also it's a bit more fun. It's a bit lonely when you're on your own, you know, <laughs> Ricardo gets too stressed and a bit boring and you don't boring. want to spend no. all the time with him. No, it is lovely. He's lovely. So no, to be able to share that and the experience and also it's a big, like I said, a big learning curve. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it as enjoyable as possible. Uh, I know the McLaren guys have a bit of fun. Um, hopefully we can, we can beat them on that. Well, and ultimately that's what's you got to have fun doing this, right? <laughs> exactly. It's not a job for crying out loud. Uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, this Unco's Hollinger Racing Team is back in Indy Next by Firestone as well, the top developmental series where there's, you guys have had so much, uh, so much success in years past. Matteo Nanini, Reese Gold, uh, welcome to you folks as well. And you guys just had a test at Homestead uh, Miami Speedway on the road course. Matteo, we'll start with you. How did the test go? Yep, on Monday we were in Homestead, Miami. It was the first time uh, actually trying out the car and with the Firestone tires. It was a good test, especially to learn how these tires develop through the through the laps. Yeah. And I mean, we've always been in front, both of us, so it was a good starting point. Of course, it's only a test and we need to figure it out, see a lot of things on car-wise and setup, but um, it's promising. 
Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to Small the first steps. race. To get, to get one day under uh, your belt like that is important. And it's interesting, you come on board uh, right in the middle of a rebrand like this. So uh, how much fun, how, how, what was that like? Yeah, I see since when I joined the team, I had an ex uh, the chance to test with Ricardo uh, almost one year and a half ago here yeah. at the Speedway yeah. and uh, in Barber. And since then, I saw that a lot of progress have been made and I can see with my eyes a lot of changes and a lot of improvements. And I think it will be a huge benefit performance wise on the track. And yeah, I just am super happy to be with them and this time of the uh, important time for them. So, and uh, I want to hopefully get good results for them. Yeah, well, it's great to have you on board. Uh, Reese, of course, uh, this is the longest he's gone without saying a word, uh, I think, in his, Thank you. in his lifetime. I've been holding it in. So. I know, you're doing a good job. Uh, but you've been a part of this team before. Now you are, it's a rebrand, a fresh new look. Uh, your thoughts about it? Yeah, it's awesome. I've been with this team for three years now, and to see they've grown so much since I joined them. We have two Indy Next cars, two Indy cars, and it's just an awesome to be in it. And um, We've gotten good results in the past, so hopefully we can continue that. And tell us about Miami a little bit. What, what were yeah, your my home track. Finally, they had to fly to me. I don't <laughs> have to come up here. I wore shorts. It was great. But um, on the racing side, uh, first time with the Firestones, um, big difference from yeah. the last tires, but they feel really good. So I think that'll be fun to see this year. And the pace was good. The car car looked good, so I'm looking yeah. forward to it. The cars definitely look good. They're oh, going to yeah. look good in victory lane, right? Oh, that's, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Hey, we'll wrap it up again with Brad and Callum. Just your thoughts uh, about heading into a fresh new season, obviously with four very talented drivers on this team. Well, I think we expect big things this year. Certainly on the Indy Lights, we'd like to repeat and be champions once yeah. again. And then certainly with Indy Cars, top 10 for sure, and hopefully top five and several podiums, if not a few victories. I yeah. think we have the drivers and we have the, the equipment this year. We've improved new technology, new computer software that will really help the engineers and the drivers as well, and I think that's significant. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, one other comment with respect to, we want to be on the cutting edge or innovative edge of technology and the utilization of social media so that we are more than just a name on a car for our sponsors, but rather business to business and creating those relationships. And I think we've really started with the new branding yeah. and how we're positioning from a social media perspective as yeah. well. Yeah, it looks fantastic. So we're really excited. Thanks so that's, much. That's awesome. It's fantastic. And Ricardo, uh, not to put you on the spot, but have you thought about goals or uh, any predictions for this year? <laughs> oh, I always I always say the same thing. And even last year, we, we knew how difficult it was. And we had to take pressure off ourselves because we all fighters we all want to win every single person in the team wants to win the driver wants to win i want to win brad but we said last year what we we said right we're going to be learning and this year is going to be a learning process for us and in many occasions we were about to be or potentially top three top five never mind the last race when we almost made the pole position so you can see even by saying that we 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 were having the results even more than we expected at the beginning. For me now, it's like when we, we all talk and all the people here knows, now we're gonna go with two cars mm -hmm. and it's going to be challenged. Mm -hmm. So again, it's gonna be another learning year. So we just want to go as good as we can, but make sure we every time we make the, the bases properly. And that's gonna give us the, the foundation of, of long term. Right, of course we want to win, but it's difficult. Yeah. You know, IndyCar is difficult. We, we're facing teams like they have many, many decades and, and powerful people, and they are good. It's, it's, it is by far, in my opinion, the the best level in the planet most of racing, the most challenging. So yeah. that's what we're facing. Yeah. So this is going to be our second year full time with two drivers now. So it is going to be changed. So yeah. the the mentality is going to be that keep learning, learning, learning as we can, and then 2024 is going to be the first time that we probably repeat everything the yeah. same way because now we add in the second car. So it's. That's, that's the, f the mentality we all want to have, and that's going to take pressure out of ourselves, but we are winners, and we, we are fighters, and we maybe surprise someone. There's no question about it. It's an exciting year here at Unco's Hollinger Racing, a fresh new look and a fresh new season. Ricardo, Brad, uh, Augustine, Callum, M M Mateo, and Reese as well. Best of luck to you guys in 2024. Uh, there's a test coming up in this, for the series, NTT IndyCar Series at Thermal coming up uh, on Thursday and Friday. And the first race is going to be here before we know it, Sunday, March 5th, down on the streets of St. Petersburg. Good luck to all you guys. And thanks for watching here on a live stream from Unco's Hollinger Racing in Speedway, Indiana.
Hoy no será una batalla más. 